Devin Rose here with Lionheart Catholic. I want to share with you an insight I had in after reading about St. Louis de Montfort's life. St. Louis de Montfort was a French priest, late 1600s, um, early 1700s, and he re-evangelized the people of Brittany and the Vendée region in France. And then he died in 1716. So note that that was about 70 years before the French Revolution. Okay, that's important later. In the French Revolution, some of y'all know this, one region in particular rose up against the diabolical reign of terror of the revolutionaries, and that was the Vendée. Um, and that's because uh, St. Louis de Montfort's work among them had, by God's grace, really um, steeled their resolve and conviction to fight against the bloodthirsty revolutionaries, even though they had most of them, no combat experience, martial training. They had a strong faith in Christ, dedication to his church. They were appalled at the godless brutality of the revolution, the destruction of their churches. The faithful priests who would not take the heretical oath had been um, ousted, and they said no more. I mean, if you want a great book and as an adult to read, uh, volume five of Dr. Warren Carroll's History of Christendom is all about the French Revolution. I'm reading it right now. I've read the previous four books, which is a whole sweeping history of uh, really humanity. It's excellent. And, and further, if for children, there's this great movie. We've watched it multiple times. It's called The War of the Vendée. It was done, um, the uh, grassroots effort, the children and young people are actors in it. Uh, they play all the different roles. We just watched this again with our kids and, and really liked it. So um, check that out. It's on form.org. Some parishes have access to uh, form.org. They have like a code that they, they can watch. Um, so check that out. Now, um, here's the second aspect and how it affects becoming an influencer. Um, St. Louis de Montfort's known for several of his books. One is called True Devotion to Mary. But when he died, that book was forgotten. And in fact, he had prophesied that it would be lost for a hundred years because Satan would hide it because he would hate, hate this book. But providentially, it was discovered and then it was spread about, becoming a classic going all over the world. This is a great article actually on Church Pop about this, uh, this what happened with uh, this book that you can read there. I'll link to all this. Well, so, you know, we can say then that... Um, you know, St. Louis de Montfort was an influencer, but instead of trying to be an influencer, as so many people today try to be, he was simply faithful to what God called him to do in his life. First, evangelize the local French region, which resulted decades later after he, his death in um, the heroic uprising of the Vendée people, and then write, and he wrote these books, uh, and those writings would go on to bless people's lives for centuries to come and probably till you know christ returns in glory those books which are classics will um, help people all over the world so what's the takeaway um the takeaway for me is let god make you an influencer in his time and in his way um, that doesn't mean you hide in a corner but rather be faithful to what he calls you to do do it and then leave the results in his hand, right? whatever that that might be. He can make you an eternal success. And whether anyone else ever knows that or not, it's up to him, right? That's what St. Louis de Montfort did uh, in his uh, effect that he had on the world what was, you know, incredible, was outsized. Um, and we see that with a lot of the saints when they, um, are, are doing what our Lord wants, right? When people do that, they become saints. And then um, God makes their impact even stronger. All right. So St. Louis de Montfort, pray for us. This is Devin Rose, Lionheart Catholic. God bless.